That was a strong hit. Oh. 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 And she's going. Good morning. How's it going, everyone? Um, so we're kicking off a pike fishing season and have my fly rod with me and two uh, lure rods. I didn't take any dead bait rods. It will be an active day. Now what happened this morning is what Irish anglers dread, one of the most things Irish anglers would dread, which is I arrived at my uh, chosen spot where I got some beautiful fish last year. And uh, there's a big sign, no trespassing, no fishing, no shooting. And uh, gate is locked. So uh, probably some, uh, I don't know why, I can speak for everyone, but it's a bummer that the, the farmers has locked the gate. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm in a different spot, um, uh, fishing on the river. So the porta boat is ready. So we're gonna hit the water now and hopefully gonna find some new spots that will provide so su such a beautiful fish and as I managed to get last year in the new spots. So uh, stick with me. We'll see what's gonna happen today. It's still early in the season. I don't usually come over here until a bit later. One need to be mad to be going through all of that for a few fish, or, no, or even no fish. That's not really helpful, but I lost a screw attachment not too long ago. And since I've already ordered a, a new boat, I wasn't planning on upgrading this guy. Uh, I, I thought that might just work, but maybe not. <sighs> Handy to have a couple of spare tie bags on the boat. And I have a spectators. Sorry guys, I know it's not very professional looking, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Hopefully this will last a little longer. Okay, now. Okay, that was <laughs> some trek through those reeds and the narrow passages. Made it. Um, unfortunately, wasn't rewarded yet. Uh, been there maybe an hour. Went through quite a few lures. I might have one small touch. Um, nothing other than that. An amazing amount of, or number of fish on the sounder. Amazing number of fish. Um, so we'll keep going.
Finally. Finally we have some fish on. In three or four casts I had a contact and here's a little fish. Brilliant. Now I'll put the I'll put the anchor down. Here on mouth doing the business. Maybe three or four casts I had a take and then another take with this little jack. Oh, at least it's a blank saver. Oh. And that's another fish in the second cast. Very delicate take this one. Very delicate take. Second cast. <laughs> and it's my second fish on that lure. Off she went. I'm sorry, didn't show you the fish. It wasn't, it was just a small jack bike, slightly smaller than the other one. Nice one. I think we have a nice fish. Very strong fish. She's keeping to the bottom. That's a fantastic fish. That's a big, that's a big, big fish. That's a big, big fish. That fish is bigger than this landing net. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh. That fish is way bigger than this landing net. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That's a monster pike. Oh, that's a monster pike. Oh. Such a strong fish. 
Whoa. No, she's not ready. I have no idea. I have no idea how will I fit that fish into this net. That's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. Oh. Stay. Stay. Oh. No, no. Oh. I can't. Oh. <laughs> what a monster bike. What? Wow! <laughs> oh. Mira's mouth and wild river beast. Oh. 110 centimeters and 21 pounds. You need to rest here for a second. Just the size of this fish. Look at the size of this fish. Oh, and she's going. Off she went. Off she went. Did you see how quickly she go? She went. It's important. It's a warm day today. It's important to uh, keep fish, especially big fish, in the water for as long as possible. Sorry, I can't catch my breath. Uh, wow, what an amazing fish! And she didn't take long to rest and go back to the water. The thickness of that fish was amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. Now, that fish deserves a toast, which I will make with this lovely greeny slimy thing. But you know what? The start of the day was really poor. Started at dawn or well before dawn, but was on the river at dawn after two hours drive and uh, didn't have anything until one, one o'clock. But you know what? If it's not going the way you'd like it to be or the way you formulated the plan in your head at home, don't stick to that plan, just keep changing and chopping. And the fact that you didn't get anything for a six, seven, eight hours, doesn't mean you won't get a huge fish a couple of hours later. So uh, I'm on to a couple of takes now, four fish, including the beast, on a day that up until midday looked like a plank. So, uh, hey, toast. Feels like a punishment, not toast this thing. <laughs> It actually tastes better than it looks. <sighs> Cheers. And since I'm feeling lucky, I'm gonna try fly and take this uh, big, articulated, heavy fly I definitely shouldn't be casting quite yet, because I can't. But I'll take it anyway, I'll see what happens. Now that fish on a fly rod. <laughs> now it would be powerful, wouldn't it? Hopefully we'll get a good fish this winter on a fly rod.
So that's it. Fantastic part of the biking season this year. I've done a bit of fly fishing and uh, mostly lure fishing. The start was tough, but the finish was fantastic. So, guys, thanks for um, staying with me for another video. If you could give it a thumbs up and um, just smash that uh, like button and subscribe as well. Give me a sec. It's a bend in the river. So, uh, thanks for uh, watching. Take care, lads. And I'm gonna head back to uh, sleep way now. Ooh. Thanks, guys. Big and small, no problem, no problem, no problem for the Mura's mouth, they all love them. This time, it's not the pike blood. But these hooks are oh sharp.